Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rave Gal. Apparently, it's just starting without me. Uh, this is Mickey Mouse Capade. Well, it started again. <laughs> Obviously, that's a great start. So, Mickey Mouse Capade is Capcom's first licensed Disney game. It is a game from my childhood. <laughs> this is a game that we definitely had and played a lot. And I'm not sure why, because it's really not a great game. It's not a bad game by any means. Um, but it's also not a good game. So the basic premise, you have Mickey and Minnie. And uh, you have to <laughs> go through levels, beat bosses, find keys, uh, with the goal of rescuing someone who you do not know at the beginning and never tells you. Okay. So, you start out without a weapon, and very quickly you find Mickey's stars. Uh, at the beginning of the game, you can't do anything with Minnie. Now, one other random thing that's worth mentioning is Minnie does not take damage, but you do have to have her with you to progress from stage to stage. Uh, there are also these little hidden panels, which have different items in them. That one's a one-up. But most of the time they're random, and sometimes they're randomly placed also, just within a window. Okay, first mini-boss here. We got really lucky and got a star. Uh, the, the diamond. Uh, that door is normally locked unless you have the key. Uh, broom enemies, you have to hit them with the handle. Spider enemies, you can only hit while they are low on the ground. Uh, now we're actually gonna start skipping ito uh, those hidden items most of the time. And the main reason is because Minnie can actually get kidnapped <laughs> when you do that randomly. And you can't beat the level without it. Uh, worth noting, these spider enemies can only be hit when they're uh, down. You can't hit them while they're up in the air, so you can't, like, snipe them. Also, that blue chandelier down there, you may have noticed, fell. Okay, uh, so this is another point of randomization. Uh, uh, the blue, uh, blue chandelier's always fell. That part's not a randomization, but this little dude in there is. So, him... That's another random thing. Let's go ahead and try it. After I just got done saying how that was a bad idea. <laughs> well, we'll get the full experience. So yeah, uh, the box that contains mini stars is random, whether or not it uh, uh, contains a monster or what you're looking for. Okay, this is a... So these are randomly generated again. <laughs> Uh, spread throughout the level, and until you get Mini back, they are going to show up all over the place. However, you have a 1 in 4 chance every time, and it is not process of elimination. Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue looking for one of those, and I may end up cheating for the sake of time. <laughs> I'm not gonna like go out of my way to abuse save states in this game, but oh yeah, we want many for that. 
Uh... So yeah, basically once I find the next one, I'm totally gonna just toss some save states at it and we'll get the correct answer the first or the next time. Um, because we can't beat the level without it, and it's really obnoxious. <laughs> My goal is mostly to show you this game, and if most of this game is spent dealing with the randomization, then it doesn't really do anyone any good. There we go. So yeah, it is literally random between the four. And now we get to deal with these platforms with Mini. <laughs> Again, Mini is has to go with you to the door. And you can kind of control her, but she kind of follows you. So that's kind of the main problem with this game. Mini. <laughs> In general. Okay, we're gonna try going up the outside here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay, so that's why we don't shoot those little hidden spots in uh, level one and five, because it can summon the crow. Now you know. <laughs> And it could have taken even longer to get her back. Okay, so now we can actually go beat the boss. And this boss is pretty straightforward. It's, it's gonna shoot projectiles. Doesn't take too many hits though. And we get the key. Uh, there is actually a trick here, which you can do, which involves this. See if I can get it pulled off. I'm gonna use it later. <laughs> so yeah, you can actually get Minnie up on the ladder and have her fight the boss by herself. And I am totally going to do that with one of the later bosses because there's like two or three spots where it can happen. Most of the bosses are going to have about that strategy of kind of try and dodge projectiles and uh just spam at the at the boss. Uh, you may have also noticed uh, Minnie's doesn't shoot as many projectiles as Mickey. Uh, I believe it's Mickey can have two stars on the screen at the same time, and Minnie can have one. So between the two of them, you get three stars on the screen. Mini boss randomly shows back up. And you literally have to go back through the entire level because at the very beginning there was somebody's yelling key. And it's not the first key you find, of course, it's the key you find at the end. Not a terribly intuitive game. Now, before I continue ragging on this game, which I will be doing a lot as we progress, uh, this is not actually, or the game's not terrible. Um, the controls, except for trying to guide Mini, are pretty good. Uh, like, the, the way you jump and everything, it, you've got good control. And honestly, even guiding Mini isn't as bad as it could be. Okay. So there's only five levels in this game. Uh, okay, I'm actually going to go ahead and we're going to do a save state at the beginning of each level because there are not continues. I'm not expecting to die horribly, uh, but it is a possibility. Uh, oh, hey, that's nice. 
So one of the things you can find in those is invincibility. Uh, this is also where I will point out, um, you actually have to make sure to get every jump. Uh, as in both of you, not just Mickey. Okay, that's kind of unfortunate. We're a little low on health. Let's see if we can beat him or not. Yeah. Okay. Like I said, we're just doing this for the sake of lives. Uh, I'm not gonna try and, like, cheat my way through it <laughs> beyond that. Um... So yeah, um, if Minnie were to fall into the water, basically if Mickey makes the- it, the game doesn't require you to make the jump as Mickey, it requires both of you to make the jump. Also worth noting here, um, I'm not sure where I was going with that. Uh, well, I guess one thing worth mentioning is that I did get that, uh, extra health there. We'll just go in and close and shoot him. So yeah, that's a very short level. Uh, Again, most of the time for these bosses, you kind of just have to get in close and shoot them repeatedly. Uh, the main thing with that level is the gaps and making sure you don't take enough, too much damage so you can actually get through it. So this is the main reason we're preserving our lives, um, because this is a long level. Oh my gosh. With lots of annoying enemies. And it is... A maze. Again, we can do this in anything but level 1 and 5. Those are the only ones that have the crow. So, this is a forest of four seasons. We have to go through and find the right path. There is no indication of what that right path is. I happen to know the path. At least I believe I do. We'll see how I- or if I remember correctly. Uh, I did look it up <laughs> ahead of time because this is- I didn't want to be stuck on this forever. And the main reason I say that is- oh my gosh. Because... This level is, again, fairly challenging as far as, like, these bears throwing caramel corn, and because of this. Yep, that's right. It's, uh, the actual thing there is hidden in one of the mystery spots. So if you didn't happen to shoot at that point, or try shooting at that point, you didn't know that you could shoot at that point. You would never find it, and that is... This is about how far I made it as a kid most of the time, because there's no indication of what you're supposed to do. Okay. This one is another hidden one, and it's even more convoluted. Okay. At least these enemies are dropping a lot of, uh, diamonds. That part's nice. Okay. So this one, in each of those levels, if you- or each of those areas, if you get all the way to the end at some point, it scrolls around to the start again. This one, the hidden path, is past the start. So you have to- you can't- 
get it on the first one, you have to do a full rotation of the level before you can get it. Also, these pits kind of open up in front of you, and then that's on top of all the other things going on. One up. Nice. Now, the nice thing with this game, or with this area, is when you die, it will start from whichever season you were in when you died. Okay. So that's the main reason I wanted to preserve lives. It's because now, if I die, I'll come back in the garden area instead of in the... Ugh. Instead of back in one of the other seasons. So we get to try again from that point. Which, honestly... For the sake of my sanity. <laughs> As a random aside with regarding save states, <laughs> I am planning on doing another Blaster Master video at some point, using this basic strategy of uh, it basically uh, save state from the beginning of the level, or from the beginning of a, a, a specific area, basically the spots where I could restart, on the hard parts at least, because yeah. Very hard games. Yeah, if this guy touches you, you just die, and you can't jump over him, so that's always fun. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start again from the save point, so we don't lose lives, because um, the game's hard enough without that. Hey, fairy. See if we can do this this time. We'll try again. Again, a lot of this comes down to RNG. It's random. His movements are random. There we go. If he moves towards you and runs into you, you just die. <laughs> okay. So that's pretty much the stop. One of the big hard stops to this game. If you're not familiar with the path through it. So we're going to go to the next one. This is the pirate ship. Uh, this makes the ocean look long. So this level is four screens. It consists of Uh, a couple mini bosses and uh, those pirates that run at you really fast, pretty much. And then you get to the boss. This is Pegleg P. He works kind of like the wizard in the first world, except for he is a lot harder to, or he hits a lot harder. So we're using the mini trick here. <laughs> Because I only have six health left, and I wanted to show it off at least once. I mean, that's a good reason, right? Okay. So, the castle is about as long as the woods or the fun house. And requires just as much uh, random backtracking. And requires us to have just as much... Uh, it gives you no direction, once again. And it requires you to uh, figure out what to do. Again, I have a vague idea of the route, and again, we are going to avoid shooting that little safety point, except for in one screen. Because we don't want Minnie to get kidnapped, despite, er, despite how annoying she is most of the time for this platforming.
There we go. Okay, so first thing we have to do is do this little loop. you can actually kill that guy. Okay, we're gonna avoid him. So, the first goal we have to do is get this key. Um, and actually, we don't need many for this. And while she can still affect our jumps a little bit, So this is kind of the halfway point, or the checkpoint, uh, because if you happen to die against the last boss, this is where you restart. And you have to go through the entire rest of this level every time. Okay. So you can see that little hopping motion that they were doing? That's what happens if one of them fall, or if you only get to the exit with one of them, of any particular area. And I'm not sure exactly what proximity is required. By the way, shooting a window like that once to make it reveal what's behind it is not a problem, and there can be cake that way. Um, the problem comes when we end up with, uh, if you get that little, like, magic noise with it. That indicates there's a hidden thing. Okay, so we already know what's in this room because we've been there uh, on the lower level and it is a dead end. <laughs> there's several dead ends with mini bosses in this area. Okay, so this is the one screen that we are going to make the exception. Ugh. And that's because one of these usually has a fairy. You know what? I'm really paranoid and I don't want to be playing this game for another half an hour trying to find many. So we're going to go ahead and... Okay. The reason we need that is because <laughs> we have Peg Leg Pete again. And this time we can't use the mini trick. So we're gonna abuse the fairy <laughs> to do that. That fairy is always in one of those rooms. Either that room or the room that he is in, or that he is based in. Okay. I'm gonna save again real quick here because... Oops. Uh, because I don't know if this is gonna be a crow or not. What? Okay, we apparently don't get that for the boss, which makes sense. Okay, and we died. So yeah, this time we start back here. I was feeling fairly confident. You know what? You know what? You've seen it once. Let's uh, let's try it one more time here. I said I wasn't gonna abuse save states, and now I'm abusing save states. Just the kind of guy I am, apparently. Okay. Never mind. It has a pattern to it, but it's a tricky jump, so I am willing to take that long. <laughs> I just wanted to try at least once and actually get it correct. Oh my gosh. So yeah. Uh, that's pretty much the whole game right there, and it's not a super long game. Like I said but at the beginning, and I've said a couple times since then, it's not a bad game by any means. Um, it's honestly a great... I mean, for an early Nintendo game, it's a... This is... I believe it said... The copyright listed on there was 1988. It was made in Japan in, uh, 87. So... It's a pretty early game, all things considered. And, like, graphically, for what it is, it's not bad. 
Seriously, look at some other licensed games from around this time. Uh... It... It's not unreasonable. Figures. Um... Uh, the music is a little repetitive, but good outside of that. Okay. So this should theoretically be a fairy still. Hey, we escaped before Minnie got kidnapped. That's good. I would have been right pissed off if it if uh, Minnie had gotten kidnapped right there. Okay, so we're, it sounds like we're gonna have to actually fight Peg like Pete here. Uh, the trick here is you have to hit him in the head. Unfortunately, once again, our problem here is health. And we still have to go through that mini boss first. So yeah. I will say, one of the other things that this game definitely has going for it is it is a reasonably challenged or challenging game, for the most part. Uh, we got off the screen before uh, the crow fully got mini. <laughs> Apparently. I'm really hoping one of these is a... Uh... Okay, that's not gonna help us any. Okay. I think we got it. So yeah. Um... Last boss is Maleficent, if you couldn't recognize it from the straight, slightly deformed graphics. There is a rhythm to it. Once you get that, you're good. And then suddenly we are in like this really awkward looking like like throughout the game the graphics have been pretty clean and then you get to that point and it's like what is that? It looks like an old DOS like, adventure game, where I should be typing commands in. But yeah, apparently the person they're saving is Alice, from Alice in Wonderland. For no apparent reason. And it just goes to an end. So! That is Mickey Mouse Capade. Um, I probably could have done that without the save states, all things considered. Um, it was mostly just a safety thing, because this is, this is a quick, fun game. That I just wanted to go through and play once. Uh, you know, it takes maybe half an hour. I'm not sure how long this video is. It's not long. <laughs> um, yeah. I think I've made it, my opinion on it pretty clear. It's not a good game, all things considered. It is a challenging game. It is an interesting game. It was good for its time, but that does not make it good. <laughs> and... It was kind of the gateway for Capcom to make a lot of other good games, like DuckTales and basically all the other Disney games I've been playing. <laughs> so yeah, this is kind of a, a flashback to their one of their first efforts, if not their first effort, I'm not, I'm not sure. And yeah, it's also a game from my childhood that... I kind of wanted to share. So, if you enjoyed this, uh, definitely take a look at the other stuff on my channel. Give me a like and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. <laughs>